Uh, my name is Zia Yang, and I work at uh, Intel. Uh, I, I will try to uh, deliver this topic on behalf of my uh, colleagues Chang Peng Liu and uh, uh, Xiao Dong Liu. The topic name is uh, Introduction of SDK vHost FS Target to Accelerate uh, File Access in uh, Virtual Machine and the Containers. The, the containers are uh, uh, we will support here is a Kata container. And uh, this is uh, uh, today's uh, agenda. We, we will have some uh, introduction of the existing work, the VertIO vHost, and uh, the Fuse VertIO file system. And uh, we will mainly uh, pay attention on the SDK uh, based uh, vHost uh, file system acceleration uh, target. And we we will also discuss some uh, vhost FS usage to support the cut container. Uh, we will especially support the data volume, data volume part, and the final is the conclusion. So what's the problem? The the, the problem is that we want to solve solve this issue. The uh, to support the application to directly uh, use the local storage. And uh, we provide the SBK Blob F, uh, FS solution. I mean that in, in, this, in this slides, it is a local storage usage case. If, if it is not using the local devices, for example, you can use the MVNUA Fabric target or iSCSI target, and this is not uh, uh, the discussion uh, scope in, in, in this presentation. So we, we just uh, give the real example. Uh, the, the real example is a database uh, uh, application. For example, the MySQL. For MySQL, you can use different uh, uh, storage engine. And uh, one of the choice is uh, MyLox. It uses uh, the LoxDB. And the LoxDB uh, has uh, environment uh, uh, encapsulation. You can use the uh, POSIX kernel file system, Hadoop, or others, and uh, to accelerate the usage. SBK provide a uh, uh, SBK Lux DB environment. Uh, it uh, it uses uh, SBK's Blob FS and Blob Store, and also the use use space and mini drivers. So it means that in in the host, if you use the uh, SBK Lux DB engine. You, you don't need any, any system, system calls to call the kernel, uh, kernel ser service. Since the SDK provides a, a simple uh, file system named BlobFS, it, it currently just uh, supports the uh, write append uh, file system operations and the write and read operations. But it is perfectly uh, match the LoxDB usage. Since for the LoxDB, it uses uh, the LSM merge tree. So there will be no uh, read and write things, and uh, there are no, no requirements on the directory support. So it uh, works perfectly. And uh, the, the, we, we also published uh, some performance data when you uh, use SBK uh, Blob FS. It, it, the benefit it, uh, is that it reduces the uh, 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 latency and uh, improve the I/O cons consistency. And uh, I think uh, this solution works very well uh, for the bare metal uh, solution. So how about uh, if we running uh, RocksDB in a virtual environment? Is there any protocol which can be used? The, for example, the similar file system API and uh, Transparently uh, uh, transfer the file oper operations from the uh, virtual machines to the host. Then we can uh, make it better. The actually the solution is that we don't want uh, want a very uh, heavy heavy weight heavy weight solutions in virtual machines, but we want to do it in the host. So this page just uh, uh, shows the uh, vertical introduction. 
since uh, if we want to uh, support the the uh, I/O acceleration in the, in the virtual machines, actually there are three kinds of solutions. One is the pure uh, software emulation method. I think uh, this is not uh, uh, well deployed in the uh, real world. And the second is the uh, the hardware assistant virtualization. You can use a single uh, IOV, single root virtualization, or the VTD to support that. But the drawback is that you, you can, for the storage device, it is uh, very hard for you, like, like the network devices, there are limited uh, uh, virtual functions. Or, or, or the hardware devices, like the MNESS devi devices, mostly they do not support the single single root I/O virtualization feature. So I think uh, the, the most popular choice is the uh, virtual, uh, virtual solution. The virtual solution actually it is a para-virtualization uh, uh, techniques proposed by IBM. And it has the virtual front-end driver and the virtual uh, back-end drivers. Usually it is uh, located in, in the QMU. QMU KVN and the emulate, emulated devices. And currently, uh, it supports uh, many types, of, many device types. For example, the virtual net is used for the network. And uh, also the uh, virtual block and the SCSI. And now, we have the virtual 9, 9P and the virtual FS. Virtual FS actually it is a new thing uh, proposed by Red Hat. So I think uh, for the, this is the introduction for the virtual, but the performance for the virtual solution, it is still not good. So there are another solutions which is used to accelerate the uh, virtual backend uh, side. It's named as the vhost solution. We'll see it in the next page. You can see that this is the vhost solution. The idea is very simple. It just uh, separates the uh, I/O pr uh, processing with uh, another uh, another module. Uh, this module can be the named as the vhost target. It can be the Linux kernel solution or the user space solution. And there is a, a new pro protocol invented named the vhost protocol. It is used to uh, communicate the guest virtual machine parameters between the virtual machine and the host. For example, for example the memory, the memory regions, the number of uh, virtual queues, and the virtual queue locations. So, so actually, uh, for, for this vhost solution, it is, uh, it is mature. For example, in DBDK, if you use DBDK, there is a, a vhost net solution. And uh, for SBDK, we already have the uh, vhost uh, SCSI block uh, solution. Actually, vhost SCSI is used to accelerate the uh, virtual SCSI. And the vhost block is used to accelerate the uh, virtual block protocol. So coming back to uh, the, the, the solution, uh, the issue we want to solve, uh, the, the, the previous uh, program is that if there is a database deployed in the virtual uh, machine, how, how we accelerate? And uh, I just list the uh, two possible uh, solutions. The first solution is uh, uh, using the 9P, uh, actually the virtual 9P protocol as the file uh, trans transport protocol. You can see that in the guest VM, uh, the, the application uh, do not need to modify its own code. Uh, it just uh, use the, still use the POSIX API, but in the kernel, there is a virtual 9P protocol, and it is a virtual IO 9P uh, front end. It will talk to the virtual 9P uh, uh, in the QMU, and uh, there is a 9P local module. And finally, uh, the request were routed to the uh, host, host OS uh, kernel, for example, through the ext4 or the xfs and to the block, uh, block, device, uh, block uh, uh, layer. And finally, 
uh, through the kernel MN driver to the MN SSDs. This is uh, one solution. And the another solution is that in the kernel, uh, in, the uh, in, the, in, the, in the kernel, we still use the uh, uh, same interface like in the host. The application just use the uh, ext4 xfs or the block. But this block is not emulated. It is uh, provided through the virtual uh, block, and uh, it is uh, uh, accelerated through the SDK, and uh, there is a vehicle user block PCI device in QMU, and it will finally uh, direct all the I/O requests to SDK vhost block target, and uh, the SDK vhost block target it uses the SDK the own uh, block device drive, uh, block device uh, layer, and uh, the user space MN driver. And uh, finally, it is it write to the MNSD. So I mean that in this part, it is all the kernel, kernel, kernel uh, solution in the host OS. For this part, it is all the SDK based user space solution uh, in host. But the problem is that if we use the, uh, this, this solution, it means that uh, each virtual machine will create its own file system. So it means that for the SDK, we just uh, pro, uh, provide an accelerated uh, uh, block device to the virtual machine. But uh, imagine that if there are 10 virtual ma machines, or maybe more virtual machines, so each uh, guest VM, they will install their own file system uh, to do that. It is better for the isolation. But how about the, uh, uh, the sharing? For example, if the uh, 10 VNs, maybe the Qatar VNs, want to share the page cache. So for this solution, it is the only, I think, is the only better uh, uh, for the single VN, but not for the cluster VN. Since uh, uh, our main agenda in this uh, presentation is to create uh, a very uh, thin layer for the guest VM and we can reuse some page caches or other services in the host. So this solution does not uh, sat satisfy uh, this requirement. But actually, uh, if this block device is just uh, provided as a cache usage, for example, just uh, provided the cache usage, I think it is enough. So, uh, uh, before in introducing the uh, ver new virtual uh, uh, file uh, system solution, we will introduce the fuse. Actually, fuse is not new. The full name is the uh, file system in user space. Uh, it is the uh, interface for the user space programs to export our file system uh, to a Linux kernel. And the fuse computes the consists of two components, the fuse kernel module and the libfuse user library. The libfuse provide, provides the, the reference solution, and uh, it will communicate with the uh, fuse kernel module. So if, uh, so if you use fuse for the application, I think it is still uh, will use the, uh, the API and the, through the system core. And finally, the fuse kernel driver will route the request to the libfuse user space. And in this example, I just put an example. The fuse demo does not have its own user space file solution. So it will still direct to the virtual uh, file system in the kernel. So this is an example. I think if you want to accelerate, you, you need to have, the, have your own fuse file system implementation in user space. But for this fuse, I think it is a long history. The, the performance of fuse, it is, it, it is also not good. I think that it is just used to uh, verify or measure a new file system design and implementation. So say this. This is, I think, uh, this is a new solution uh, proposed by, uh, by Red Hat. It's named as the virtual file system. And the design purpose is that makes the virtual machine or the containers, usually the cut containers, to share the 
local local file system. I just uh, marked the, it as a red. The shared volume is a requirement. And the development history, I think it is initialized by Red Hat, maybe uh, one year ago or one half years ago. And it is actu uh, actually a uh, development in, in the community like the QMU or color container community. And uh, the reason I want to uh, introduce a uh, fuse is that uh, Vertio file system protocol is uh, based on the fuse message and uh, format. And it just uh, has its own uh, extend extensions for the advanced features for uh, advanced features. And also the Vertio uh, file system has the direct access support. It needs to uh, access the Vertio PCI bar from the host uh, huge memory. So let's see. Uh, since I just uh, introduced the, uh, the Vertio uh, file system solution, so I think that uh, in the, uh, this is uh, the virtual machine and the QMU part. And the uh, bottom half is the current uh, uh, Vertio FS solution. And this is the SPK solution. Uh, you can see that for the application, if you use the Vertio uh, FS solution, uh, it will have the, 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 the application in the user space in the guest OS will still use its uh, original interface, but it will uh, cause a fuse interface in the kernel and uh, cause the fuse DX module and uh, through the Vertio file system uh, kernel module. And, uh, and finally, it can transfer the, uh, the request. For example, through the, through the uh, through the QMU and finally uh, to the Vertio FS demo. And uh, finally, it can be uh, passed through the request to the, to the local file system in the host. So if we use this, this original module, it means that the benefit is that the, the page cache in the host can be shared by the uh, multiple uh, virtual machines. Since in the, in the kernel, I think that uh, the kernel part will, will not use the, its own page cache. They will just uh, write through to the, to the host, and the host will maintain that. And uh, if there is multiple uh, virtual machines, then the page cache can be, can be shared. And we can see that uh, this is the uh, Vertio Q. Uh, Vertio Q, you can see that it uses uh, the fuse uh, format, use the fuse request response for, for the virtual IOQ handling. And there is the uh, bar memory region for the file system direct access. And there is, uh, if you want to use the uh, SPK vhost FS target, it will have the vhost user FS PCI, like the vhost use, user uh, virtual block or SCSI. But for this, I think it, the, the patch is not merged in QMU yet. We are still in the POC process. So if you have this modification or patch in QMU, then you can redirect the uh, virtual FS request to the SPK vhost FS target, like the uh, SPK virtual block or SCAR solution, and use the use space file system and the blob store, and uh, it is all the user space solution. And uh, since, since we are the SPK developer team, we, we don't do, do, do this just for our imagination, since customers uh, need this. But we, I will not tell the customer's names. They need this. They told us they need uh, four user space solutions, but they don't want to this. Since, uh, since finally, I think their purpose is that for, for this, it may also communicate to the remote. So, so if you use uh, this model, it means that for, for, e uh, for, for each uh, virtual FS demo, there will be uh, served for one VM. So it means that if we are 10 VM, there will be 10 virtual uh, FS demo. And it will use the uh, one thread for per queue. But for SBK, 
we can use the uh, one polar. It, the polar is, is not a thread uh, concept, but it has solution it can pull all the ver vertical queues, and it can be uh, support many uh, virtual machines. And uh, this page uh, uh, just uh, shows uh, some details uh, with the SBK broadband face with the fuse interface. You can see th see this see this uh, page. Since we want to handle the fuse fuse request right in the vertical queue, but this is the SBK uh, broadband face. So so there is a question that how can we map the uh, fuse operation to the broadband FS operation, it will be uh, an issue we need to address. So let's compare all the, uh, all the common uh, fuse command. For example, the uh, lockup, get, get file system, get file attribute, open, release, create, delete, or others. We can see that for all, for all this, we, we ha have the relative SDK broadband FS uh, API, but we still still uh, have some features uh, not ready yet. All, all this probfs is a single API. We 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 will need the read and write support, and the, this development uh, task in, currently is in progress. And uh, for the fields, it will may also have the memory mapped I/O support. For this, it is also in the development. And for the for the directory uh, support, currently we know that for if you familiar you are familiar with SPK broadfs, it just has a single single directory support, and we will extend it to the uh, multiple uh, multiple directory support. And uh, this page will will show the details of the uh, fuse operations uh, in. In the vert queues, uh, this page will show the detailed uh, uh, fuse command. Actually, fuse command can be uh, divided in two parts. One is the, the request, and the second is the response. Uh, for the fuse uh, uh, fuse uh, request, we can see it maybe occupies uh, four four occupation. This is just a uh, illustration, and uh, we can see it fuse fuse. Header in header and the fuse operations. It is owned by the guest. It means that the guest can be uh, write, write, rewrite on this. And for the fuse response, it is uh, owned by the host. It means that only the host uh, can be write, write this. For example, the fuse out header has a length error unique, and uh, this is a fuse uh, operation out. Uh, Maybe it can be a list, since if there is a data for the read. So this page uh, just uh, il il illustrates the, the open and the close operation uh, in, in Fuse and the SDK. It means that we already uh, get the Fuse, Fuse request from the guest OS and port it to uh, user space uh, vertical FS solution, and we have the uh, open, for example, open file the request, and it can composed of two operations in fields, uh, lockup open. The lockup will just uh, use the file path and import and return the file node ID, and the open just just use the file node ID and return the uh, file file handler. And it can be mapped in the uh, three operations in, in SPK broadfs. And for the read or write uh, operations, it is not listed here since it's very complicated. And for the close, we can see that in the fuse, it can be divided into the release and the forget operation. And it can be also mapped to the to SPK operations like the resource uh, releasing or SPK. Uh, file close the sync. And uh, this diagram uh, shows the uh, uh, implementation details uh, with the uh, rewrite. Uh, you can see that for, for this part, uh, it is the 
uh, the file operation is coming from the uh, virtual machines. And for this part, it is just uh, in the host side. The, the host side, the applications can just, just use the read file in public, then through the fuse read, and uh, finally through the SPK file open sync function. Now, this is uh, very simple. Why I list here, since it will be used for the cut container solution, it means that for a, for a thing directly, both the virtual machines or the host, they, they may write something in the directory. It is requirements. So let's, let's back to the uh, details for the vertical FS uh, rewrite from the virtual machines to the host. We can see that, see that it is initialized through the POSIX read and through the fuse read and through the vertical FS and the, for the for the fuse read, we can see uh, it contains the fuse in header, fuse read in, and also also find the, the this result is already allocated, and it will submit the fuse command. For example, here, and finally the vertical target will fetch the command, and analyze the command, and through the vehicle's FS and it. It will call the SPK file uh, write v after getting uh, this this command and transfer it to the SPK uh, probefs uh, uh, operations and finally it will be uh, delivered to the SPK soft stack to execute. This is the whole 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 process. So if we have this. Uh, uh, this support, finally, uh, the application uh, acceleration in the virtual machine, if we to use a local, uh, local, local and many device in the host, it will be through this manner. You can see that well, the, this is the application, still the MySQL application, uh, with the MyLox plus the LoxDB engine. It uses a rewrite, uh, rewrite, and uh, it just uh, uses uh, the POSIX LoxDB environment, but not the SPK-based one. It means just uh, the uh, original kernel POSIX uh, LoxDB environment, and it will call the uh, VFS and through the uh, fuse rewrite, and through the vertical file system, and finally it will root it to the uh, SPK uh, user uh, space uh, user space solution. So I, I think that for for this, the purpose is that we we just reuse the user kernel solution, and for the virtual FS, it it still can uh, have the page cache uh, sharing features pro provided in the host, but we can uh, export. Uh, the data volume operations or some special special uh, uh, file folder to the to SPK to handle this. So let's see some uh, real uh, usage with the color container. For the color container, the, the challenge is that when you are using the color container, the first is the shared file system. And it is uh, used as an overlay file system for the container image, for example, the UniFS. And uh, currently, uh, currently uh, there is no direct view uh, through, uh, uh, from the host if we use the SPK uh, vhost file system. Since it is still in the POC feature, we will, uh, we will uh, open source that. But this is support. So I mean that for the read-only, uh, I mean the overlay file system support. It is not, not ready in the SPK vehicles FS. But one when, uh, when, uh, issue we want to solve is that we want, want to use the SPK vehicles FS to accelerate the cut container and to support the data volume be shared, be used or shared through the different containers. And this is a, a brief brief view on the container storage usage. This is just an introduction 
of the current container storage, not, not the SBK part. You can see that uh, this, is, uh, this container is a process, not the color container, I mean not the uh, virtual machine. So, so you can see that for the container, you can see this directory, the root directory, the others. It is all provided by the host. Uh, you can use isolation, but in the local uh, FS file system, it can use the overlay file system to provide a root FS and use the, the other directory to, to provide the uh, mapping directory in the container. And uh, there is also a data volume. Data volume, for example, the var xx, it, it can be located in, in a specific uh, folder in the local file system. So if we uh, use this model in the CAD container, it is, uh, uh, it is different. Since we, we, uh, we can use the, uh, use the, uh, use the uh, vertical NMP protocol. Uh, since uh, the color ten container is actually a virtual machine, so it means that the vertical NMP protocol can be used, or the vertical FS, FS protocol. So th this is not, 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 uh, not, not, not quite uh, different with the uh, vertical NMP uh, protocol. Uh, it just uh, replaced the vertical NMP with the vertical FS. And uh, for the each uh, color container VN, it has a vertical uh, file system daemon. This is uh, used for the isolation. But ideally, I think that you can just uh, implement uh, one vertical uh, FS daemon. For, for many virtual machines, you have different uh, uh, socket. Uh, socket, I mean, the address. It, I think it is OK. And for SDK, it, we provide the SDK virtual uh, uh, file system. So we can see that the, for a specific uh, data volume, it, it can be uh, recognized or by the acceleration apart through the uh, QMU uh, uh, vHoster uh, vertical FS PCI, and finally route it to the SPK uh, vHoster FS. Then it will be uh, not put in the here, but directly owned by the SPK vHoster FS demo. And uh, the SPK uh, vHoster FS demo can directly operate on the MNE SSD. So generally, uh, if if supporting the color container, the the diagram is that we can see that the left part is the host part, and the right part is the uh, color con color container part. You can see that the application is in the container. It will still use the original uh, POSIX API and call the VN kernel through the VFS fuse virtual FS and uh, intercepted and uh, through the vhost acceleration in SDK, through the vhost FS, prop FS, prop store, MN Java to MN SSD. And uh, since I mentioned that, for the, if you are familiar with the color container usage, the host, you still need to access the same, same directory or same data volume. So, so the host IO manager pass application where through the kernel VFS fuse and uh, through the lib fuse and uh, SPK will have the, also the lib fuse module and the, to the uh, same stack. So it means that for this stack, the right one it is the accelerated path. For for the left part, it is just for the measurement. So we can just uh, use the, the host side. We can just uh, use the, the lib fuse to the SPK. Though the performance, I think. Uh, you, is not good as the kernel POSIX routing. But I, I think this is not a matter. This is just a many path. Mainly we can use to accelerate the virtual machine path to SBK. Since for if you want to write the context in the MN SSD, all this diagram in the SBK diagram, it is all in user space. So the performance will be better than the kernel part.
So let, let, let's see the, uh, the sharing situation for SPK vehicles FS. First, the, the sharing can be uh, between, the, between the container container and the host. We already mentioned in the previous diagram. The second is that the sharing can, uh, the sharing can be uh, between uh, different, uh, different containers in different VNs. And the third is that the sharing can be uh, between the uh, different containers in the same vir virtual machines. And uh, currently, uh, we want to solve the uh, sharing uh, among diff different hosts, but it is still uh, not, not supported yet. I think for, for this, this reusage is the normal case. But for this, we may also need to con consider it later. Uh, since, uh, since many customers, they are not only satisfied with their uh, only sharing in a single host. They want to, for example, to support a large uh, container, container usage. So there will be many different hosts. There are different uh, containers, but the, those containers may share some images. So it means that if if we can uh, share the uh, share the file system through the different hosts, I mainly mean the uh, real only uh, file system share the page cache. It means that, for example, this VN, if it want to uh, get some uh, read read only data to 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 process, it may can just uh, uh, get this contact through the uh, remote host. So you, you, you may think that, why I, w I just want to share it from the remote? Since you can think that for the host, the page cache, or the others, or the, the, all the cache maintained by SBK, I think it, it is also limited. You cannot cache everything. But if we, you can su support the remote caching, it means that it can cache in a lot of contents. But I think the performance will be the uh, main concern. So the customers, they, they, want, they see that. They can use the RDMA. RDMA to just uh, retrieve the uh, remote cache through different hosts. So the performance issue uh, can be solved. So, so this is uh, why. SBK want to provide the vhost FS solution. Since you know that for the, for the host solutions, it can be easily done by the host file system through the page cache. But how about a remote? If you want to have a remote sharing, it means that you still need the service in application layers to coordinate that. So why we just use another solution to put all of the uh, demos in the user space, then the customers can be uh, easily uh, managed. Then. Since uh, many customers, they, they hate the frequent uh, upgrade of their kernel. So the next is the uh, conclusion. I think uh, in this, uh, in this uh, talk, uh, I think the, the main program is that we want to uh, solve this issue. We want to support many virtual, uh, VM, virtual machines or the card containers to share, to share the file systems. And we want to provide a very lightweight solution, not just the, the heavyweight solution. We want the uh, virtual machines to create it, its own file system on the providing block. So we introduced uh, the Vertio 9P protocol and also the newly Vertio 5 system uh, uh, protocol proposed by uh, Red Hat. And based on this, we, we, post, uh, we provide a SPK vehicle file system solution. Yeah, it is a, a solution located, located in the host, but in the host the user space. Then it can just uh, uh, get the Vertio FS actually fuse based uh, commands through the virtual machines and handle all the file, uh, file operations uh, on the fuse commands and transfer it to the SPK USB space 
uh, broad FS solution, and finally we use the use space and main driver to uh, accelerate it. Though currently we can only support the data volume uh, uh, for the uh, uh, virtual machines or cut containers, but finally I think that we will also support the layered uh, file system uh, later. And generally uh, this work uh, is still in the POC part, but definitely we will open source it. Since for SDK we already uh, open sourced uh, the uh, Vertile uh, Block SCSI solution, and uh, the related support in Cumul is also merged in the Cumul main branch. So we will do this work soon or later. And for the performance uh, evaluation, uh, we will also uh, do it later. So thanks, this is all my uh, talk. Actually, I do this talk on behalf of my two colleagues. If there are very uh, difficult questions, I can bring, bring, <laughs> the, bring it to them. Thank you. So any questions? OK. So the, so the part that, that you implemented was just the, the V host FS in SPDK? The bird IO FS is already? Yeah, 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 yeah. The question you read. Uh, the vertile FS uh, front end and back end is already uh, in Cumul. It, it's ready. And uh, I think the vertile uh, file system kernel module, I think, will be uh, in Linux kernel. So it means that you don't need to do any modifications in the guest OS. It is, uh, it is transparent to the applications in the guest OS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you are right. Uh, but to support the applications uh, in the virtual machines, you, you, it means that like the vertile SCSI block, for example, the vertile block uh, for the vhost block, you need to have the vhost use space block PCI in Cumul. So for, for this, it is same. There are two works. One work is in Cumul to add the vhost user uh, vertile FS, PCI support, and the second is the SBK part. But I mean that if we have this uh, uh, fuse-based uh, user-based solution, it means that for the other, other applications, you can directly call the SBK API if you want to uh, modify your code. You can ju just uh, do it, but not through the a fuse API. Since for the fuse API, you still need to call the system call and route it to the lib fuse. So, so, so this is my answer. Yeah. 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 I mean that as I introduced in the first. Currently, BrawlBS is only what works very well with the LoxDB environment engine. But currently. Yeah. The application, you're pretty much talking about a Rocks DB Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, this is true. But I mean that uh, we, we also want to support the other applications. So it means that currently our implementation for the uh, vhost FS is based on the uh, Bob FS, SDK Bob FS solution. But now we, we are rewriting our Bob FS. It may become another, another name or, or new. Use a, use a file system in SPDK. We are support the directory, support write and, write and rewrite. So I think that currently we are doing some uh, debugging, uh, decoupling or working in BrawlBFS and try to uh, implement a new use space file system in SPDK. Yeah. Does the lack of directory support? We'll add this. So you're adding the directory? Yeah, we'll add this later. Otherwise, it will, cannot be <laughs> supported. So your picture is assuming a yeah. new version 2. Yeah, yes, you are right. Currently, it's a version 1. Yeah. If version 1, it means that it is only have the single directory, and it only can support the uh, uh, append write. I mean the uh, append write, and um, do not support the uh, memory mapped I.O. But we will we, we try to solve, solve this uh, issue. Since if we do not solve this, I, I think that customers will not use that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, any performance numbers or performance kind of uh, comments 
Yeah, this is a very uh, good question. I, I, I previously I mentioned, currently we, we did not have the performance number yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's just in the very uh, POC part. We, we just, uh, currently we just uh, support some uh, maybe very simple operation. For example, we can make the uh, applications uh, in the virtual machine work through all, all through this and write the, the, the file through the SPK vehicles FS. But for the performance number, we, we don't measure it. Yeah. Yeah. So any questions? Uh, if, if, if no questions, I think we, I can end uh, this presentation. And now I think that you can also uh, find me through the email. I, uh, my email address actually it is my name, zye.yang at inka.com. So thank you.